I asked the ocean one question, could you stay calm instead of being greedy and taking land away? For thousands of years, the Nupiak people of Shishmaref, Alaska have lived at the center of animal migration routes along the Bering Strait. Their livelihoods and culture characterized by a profound interdependence between the land and sea and the animals and people. However, as rising temperatures in the Arctic region have caused polar ice melting and thinning, the traditional way of life of the Shishmaref people may soon vanish with the rising tide. The high levels of greenhouse gases released by humans have trapped heat in the planet's lower atmosphere, causing global temperatures to rise. In Arctic regions, this has created a positive feedback loop that is contributing to even greater warming than in other parts of the world. The loop is called the albedo effect and works as follows. As global temperatures rise due to human activity, Arctic sea ice melts. When this reflective ice disappears, darker ocean water absorbs more heat, causing a greater increase in temperature and further ice melt. According to the National Academy of Sciences, the Arctic has warmed almost 2 degrees Celsius since the 1970s. While this change may seem insignificant, the temperature rise has led to a significant diminishing of the polar ice caps, decreasing summer sea ice coverage by nearly 40%. For the residents of Shishmaref, this means their community is no longer the center of the bearded seal population migration route that their diet and culture so heavily depend upon. There's really nothing here to help people survive. Um, the only um, reason we're here is, is mainly because we subsist off the ocean and off the land. And um, that's our primary reason why Shishmaf is located here. We love to be close to the ocean. Life in Shishmaf revolves around this relationship with the natural world and the importance of ice as a connection between two landscapes is at the center. For example, the Shishmaref people have 62 words just to describe the dynamics of sea ice. Bearded seals, and to some extent, spotted seals, are the region's most valued socioeconomic resource, but according to the community elders, it is no longer safe to hunt on the thinning ice, and the unstable conditions have required the use of expensive boats. In past hunting seasons, the hunt has not even occurred, disrupting the traditional subsistence hunting lifestyle that is so ingrained in the Shishmaref culture. Local hunters have not only observed the changing distribution and roots of the bearded seal population, but also that the seals have had thinner blubber in recent years. This decline in the size and general health of the population can be attributed to rising ocean temperatures that cause toxic algal blooms. Not only does this impact the seal population, it eliminates a food source for native birds, impacting the biodiversity of the region, making land and sea less resilient and destroying an important source of food and culture for the Shishmaref people. The impact on hunting and biodiversity, combined with increases in flooding and wind that can be attributed to climate change, has made life in Shishmaref difficult and the future of the people unclear. Since 2001, the already small island has lost an average of nearly 23 feet of shoreline per year and homes and buildings have been destroyed due to flooding. In the past, communal mobility in response to seasonal flooding was part of Shishmaref lifestyle, but when colonization prompted sedentarization, the once highly resilient and mobile population was forced to stay in one spot. Now, there isn't much left of Shishmaref to escape to. As a result, the people of Shishmaref have decided that leaving the island that has been their home for generations is the only option. But such a big endeavor would require upwards of $180 million, and little assistance has been given by the state or federal government. Moreover, the relocation process will prove difficult to the preservation of Shishmaref culture, as migration outside traditional subsistence land would mean the destruction of cultural integrity. Shishmaref is not unique. 186 other Alaskan native villages are currently facing the effects of climate change, and at least 12 are searching for relocation options. Climate change is also forcing other communities around the world to relocate. 
Several droughts has forced hundreds of people to migrate through the Himalayas in Central Asia, as well as in the Senegal River Valley. Similar to Shishmaref, over 400 coastal and island communities in the United States are facing relocation. While everyone is affected by climate change, communities with fewer resources are currently facing its harshest effects. As we go forward, it is essential that we provide support for the communities that are suffering as we work to counteract the damage we have done. To support climate refugees around the world, please donate to the Environmental Justice Foundation's Climate Refugee Protection Campaign that works to give vulnerable communities throughout the world a voice and provide protection against extreme weather events and climate change that are already displacing an estimated 41 people each minute and the International Arctic Research Center, which brings together scientists and local Alaskan communities for collaborative research projects. Thank you.